I've decided I wanted to do something a little bit different for my iPhone review this year. Most years I write a blog post and share some photos, but the iPhone 10 is so different and so special, I think the best way to share my experience with it with you is just to share my experience. Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.05 a.m. So I'm up early getting ready to head out to the Apple store. My pickup is between 8 and 8.30. That was the first time available in the day. I didn't mean to be first. I just have a busy day. I want to get to the store and kind of get on with it. I don't want to be the first person to pick up a phone. The Apple stores, they do this weird thing where if you're the first person to buy or pick up a new product, you get clapped and cheered as you leave. That's super strange to me. It was strange to me when I worked there 10 years ago. Um, it's just sort of creepy. And I don't want to be that guy. Uh, so hopefully someone else beats me there in that time period. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to head that way and see how it goes. All right, so I got the phone. There was a line all the way around the building. There were a bunch of security people and I filmed a little bit and I sort of got it talking to. Uh, but the line around the buildings for people who just basically showed up. There was somebody who had been camping for three days according to the person who checked me out. But it seems like everyone in line was getting a phone. It seems like the stock in store was really good. I of course pre-ordered online at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I got basically just strolling in. And so I've got 256 gig silver iPhone 10. I did Apple Care Plus because it's super expensive if you break this phone. Um, I got to spend some time with the black one. I like the black. My my concern was that the back of it was sort of desaturated and I feel that way after seeing it in person. But the black stainless steel band looks really good. But uh, all in all, I'm very happy that I went with the silver. So I'm going to go home and uh, get it set up. All right, so I'm back in the studio with the iPhone 10, shooting this on the iPhone 7 Plus. And uh, we're gonna get into this. There it is. Paperwork, stuff, no one cares. Here is the phone. Like I said I got the silver, stainless steel side rail, super shiny. In the box, AirPods, power cable, no one cares. A few moments later. So quick start lets you bring the new iPhone near the old iPhone. The old iPhone is filming, so I'm gonna try to bring it up close. I may have to stop filming, hello! So got the migration going, like I showed. Tap the old phone with the new phone, put them next to each other, and it moves a bunch of settings over. I had to give it my iCloud password. The phone did not come with iOS 11.1, so it is updating and then it is going to be applying the backup. iCloud Backup Restore has been really good for me the last couple of years, but it definitely takes some time. So, you know, have an hour or so to be ready to move your stuff over because it just takes a little while. Uh, but as soon as it's done, I'll uh, be moving to the 10 instead of this 7 Plus, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I just used Apple Pay for the uh, first time at the grocery store. It's a really different process. Before you kind of had to put the phone near the reader and then wait for it to see it and then you would do Touch ID. But now you just double press the side button and to, uh, Apple Pay comes up. You then enter, uh, you know, you look at it and Face ID does its thing, it'll authenticate you and then you're just ready to go. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's the first time I've only done it once, but it seemed faster than the old method. Sometimes running, uh, running around different stores, the card readers work at different speeds and sometimes the phone wouldn't see it immediately, uh, but it seemed to work really well. So you just double tap the side button, authenticate with Face ID, and you're all set. So I've had the iPhone 10 all day. It's been a very busy day for me running errands, got some work done in the office. I really have not spent much time with the phone, not all the way I thought I would. Uh, so I have a plan for the rest of this video that uh, I think will be pretty interesting.
So there's a whole bunch on this phone. Wow, look at that brightness out. There we go. There's a whole lot on this phone that I haven't gotten to test yet. I barely have it set up. It was a crazy day today. I haven't taken any pictures of it. The only video taken with it is for this review. So I don't really have much of an idea of what it's like day to day yet. Tomorrow we have an all day uh, family trip with my son's Cub Scout group. We're going about an hour and a half away to a state park, some hiking, uh, some cooking out, you know, all that sort of stuff. And so I'm gonna bring the, the iPhone 10 with me. Obviously it's my phone now, my number's on it, and some of my stuff's on it, but I wanna put it through its paces. A, a day of travel is always really hard on an iOS device. You're using maps, so a lot of times you're in low cell coverage. Uh, I think it'll be a really good way to kind of see how the phone fits into what I would normally do with an iPhone on a trip like this. You know, lots of pictures, lots of video, directions, GPS, that sort of stuff. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so we'll pick this back up tomorrow morning.